princess to go near. You're welcome, my princess. Distinguished Madam Millicent Uzonko, the only woman who stands out in class amongst her equals. I greet you with all sense of humility. I must say that I'm really surprised at the visit by the most amazing princess of our kingdom. So if I may humbly ask, what brings the only daughter of our almighty king to my place? Is that the first thing you say to a visitor? Oh, 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 oh forgive my manners. Come in, come in and sit down, please. Don't worry. I'll speak while standing. Oh no, my princess, that would be so uncultured and undeserving for you to speak while standing out here. But that's exactly what I want to do. I hope I get what I want. Very well noted, my princess. I'll grant your request. I promise to do the way it pleases you. At least for the first time you're visiting my place. I'm so honored to have you. Madam Millicent Uzunko, the woman with class and poise. You should sure have your way with words, though. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Women do not hail you for nothing. I make bold to say that all I've heard about you are not lies. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. You are indeed wise. You are. Thank you so much, my princess. Please, I'll Thank see you. you. This is the first time you're coming to my place, Princess Ugone. And it's only right you sit so I can offer you cola. Very well, ma'am. I'll sit. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me. Hold on, Mrs. Uzonko. You do not have to worry yourself about the cola. I am perfectly fine. Please sit down. Thank you. I am here because you have something I'm interested in. Really? That is an honor, my princess, I must say. But what could that possibly be? Your son. My son? How? I am interested in your son, Mrs. Uzonko. And not just interested. Actually, I want us to be husband and wife. That's unbelievable. What is unbelievable about a mature request? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's just that it's unheard of that a woman goes proposing to a man. So I'm wondering why you're doing it and why it has to be my son. But I'm doing it already. Whoever that doesn't like it should deal with it. I don't care. Uh, I am the princess of this great land. I go for what I want. I want your son. And I've come for him. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, my princess. You see, no one is disputing the fact that as the princess of this kingdom, you have the right to get whatever you want. But I think you're getting it wrong this time. Well... I have delivered my message, ma'am, and I hope it gets to him. You really want me to deliver the message to my son? Of course. He is the one I'm getting married to. He should know about my proposal. <sighs> okay. In that case, I'll pass your message across to him. Okay, that's fine. Please, one more thing. Tell him to try see me the next he visits. I would like to host him in the palace of my father. Wow. And I'm sure he'll be delighted to be your guest. Thank you so much, Mrs. Susan Kuo, for your kind words. <laughs> I'll be on my way now. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you, my princess. Thank Enjoy you. yours too. Thank you.
Ijen Dilemaka, I am not going to mince words by telling you what I want to tell you. You see that man who finally became our governor? I am not happy that he is governor because he is not qualified for the office he is occupying. He's not. I don't even know whether to blame those who are working for him or to blame him. It means they are the people tarnishing his image. Oh, come on, don't tell me that. Has he got any image that anybody will tarnish? I was complaining when he was campaigning that this man is not qualified for this position. But nobody listened to me because he was busy sharing uh, bags of rice, sharing, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, t uh, cartons of tomato, sharing uh, uh, bags of crayfish, two bags of yam and noodles and all the rubbish he was sharing. Because of that, you, you, you people made him governor. Look at where we are. Look, look at, uh, can you see what, where we are now? And unfortunately, that idiot is going to be in that office for the next four years. No, how do you consider that? Four years is going to be wasted. Chief, what if he gives them money and then bezel it? You yourself know that what you are saying is not right because the man is so dumb. He does not even know that that road should be constructed. I said it before, and I have said it again. He is not qualified to be local government chairman even, not to be a state governor. He's not qualified for any political position. That's what I'm saying. Chief, you're taking this too far. Calm down. You see, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I am saying. This is why all of you are where you are. This is it. Chief, I don't understand. Which people? You don't know the people. You know what? I want to be left alone. I just, I want to have my peace. I want to just have my peace. I said that this man should know that nobody should vote for this man. That this man is not qualified. I was saying it. And I was very serious. No, everybody, everybody refused to listen to me. All you men of timber and caliber, men in positions of authority, all of you sold your conscience because of what? Because of food stuff. Because of what already food stuff, we are where we are. Hi, this is regrettable. Very regrettable. Chief. You are taking this too far. You and I know that this very particular man is a very good man. Yes, he is. You and I know that leadership is not easy. Hey, I, I, are you listening to yourself? No, no, I, I, are you the one speaking here now? Yes, because leadership is not a bed of roses. Exactly my point. If a man is occupying a position and he is not delivering that position, it is only right for him to vacate that position for those who can deliver to come in. Is that not what, he, what, what is supposed to be happening? Chief, are you saying he's not doing anything at all? Yeah? Okay, you want to hear it from me? What has he done? No, tell me. What has he done? You see, when I, when I say that some men who are positioned in this state politically, when I say that they are hypocrites, they will get angry. But each time they open their mouths to speak before me, you are seeing a bunch of hypocrites speaking. What is this? Chief, are you calling me a hypocrite? Well, listen, I have not called you a hypocrite. But I want to give you a scenario, very simple scenario, that if you see a man who is holding a political position, and the man is not delivering on that political position, then you have a group of men well-positioned man who's supposed to be telling him his sins to his face, now praising him when they know so well that he's not doing anything. What are you going to call those men? Are they not a bunch of hypocrites? They are a bunch of hypocrites. Uh, Chief, I don't blame you. I rather blame myself for starting this discussion in the first place. Hey, listen to me, Chief Ndidiamaka. Do, do not force me to start to see you in different light. Because I hold you as a man of timber and caliber. I hold you as a man who has the interests of the people at heart. I hold you as a progressive. But from the way you are going with this idiot who is now parading himself as a governor, I may be forced to start to see you in a different light. Don't see me differently. I'm still the one you know. I used to know you. This one sitting here now. I don't know this one. Babe, I need you to give me time. I need time to think about it. How much time? Um, just... How much time do you need to make up your mind to be with a man that you love? 
Are you sure you love me? Babe, what are you saying? You know I love you. And the love we share is deep and inseparable. The more reason you shouldn't be wasting our time. Stop punishing me like this, baby. I want to be with you. What, we've been together for years now. How much more time do you need to make up your mind so that we can get together, get married, start a family? Babe. What? Can you please calm down? Of course, I'm trying to be calm. You know what? You know why I'm doing what? What I'm doing? Why? I'm doing this because of my father's hatred for the governor. Uh -huh. Just calm down. What has your father's hatred for the governor got to do with us? I'm the one getting married to you, not the governor. I expect your father to understand. I believe he understands that. Stop hiding behind that to waste our time. Huh? All right, I've heard you, but I still need time, and you will give me the time. Okay. Please. Babe. Are you sure you love me? I'm asking you. No, I love you. Are you sure you really love me? Babe. Okay. I truly love you. And she know that. Right. But. You need more time. Exactly. This love is running out of patience. Please, baby, make up your mind. Okay? Yes. I don't want to lose you. Save me. I'm not losing you. So, this time around, I. I'll give you the time that you want. Okay? Sure. You're just the best. Thank you. Thank you. How's your dad doing? How's he? He's fine. <laughs> ah, your dad. Man has quite a reputation, you know. I don't think I have... No, I haven't. I haven't even met him one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't um, yet to have an encounter with him, you know. Uh, you know um, ah, Chief is in Also. <laughs> the one-man riot squad of politics in our state, your father. Mm -hmm. Indeed, my father is a good man. He's good in everything, but... I feel his extreme politics is beginning to affect me indirectly. Oh, I, I get your point, but, you know, I think you should look on the brighter side. Yeah, I think that you should capitalize on your father's political popularity to make inroads into politics, especially in your state. Hell no. Why? <laughs> my father will cut off my ears. Moreover, I, I want to be a private woman. I do not wish to go into politics politics with all their media razzmatazz. No, I don't have all that time. <laughs> well, truth is, um, I feel that you have not taken time to think about this. When you think it through properly, you would probably see things differently. Look, even if you are not interested in politics, politics is interested in you because man is a political animal. Maybe. No way, babes. I'm not going into politics. Never say never now. I don't want it. Never say never. No, not interested. Never say never. Come you know, here. you know, you know, I've always wanted to say this about your father. I don't even think he's a politician. I think that your father is the politics. In the politics. <laughs> <laughs> if you get what I mean. I mean, it's, it's, it's clear his reputation precedes him. And that is why everyone who's... Um, Coming against him in the elections mm -hmm. next year, scared. <laughs> His reputation precedes him. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I 
honestly, I still cannot believe that the princess of Amanata came here and said what you have just narrated, Mom. I was even shocked myself. Then I realized she was indeed serious. And what was your response, Mom? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm not the one she's interested in. Interested? Mother, the princess of Amanato chose on Wednesday. He said that everyone in Amanato knows that I cannot be reached. To come here. To see you. I have a word with you. Mom, this is how I see it. I think she wants to win you over before she comes to me. Why are you sounding as if you're technically considering what she just said? Why would you say a thing like that, Mother? I have not said anything. I am just processing what you have told me. <laughs> <laughs> a woman. Not just a woman. The princess of this land is asking for your hand in marriage. I mean, where is it done? Well, she demanded to see you when you return. Did she actually make <laughs> demands or you're making that up, Mom? Or did she make demands when she came here? Or you, you, you just made that up? She's the princess, remember? She gets whatever she wants anytime. Quite all right. But I'm not an item on a shelf. I am a man who understands what it means to be a man. Huh? I cannot be tossed around, Mom. Bana, Rocky, see me. The princess is already targeting something. In fact, in this case, she is the man. Because she is the one with the proposal. Uh -huh. Another point of correction, mother. I see no proposal here. The princess of Amanato pays a respected woman in Amanato a visit. And in the course of her visit, she said something. I'm a man in politics. I'm a man in government. And in government, we do not operate by the same mother. I believe that you know exactly what I mean by that. Hmm. Okay, Chuku, my son. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> you are so, so unassuming. <laughs> Naira. Where on earth do you expect me to get such an amount of money from? So because my boyfriend is the SA to the governor, I'm expected to always have money. Okay. You know, no, 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 you listen. You need to understand that getting this money is not easy. These guys begin to look at me as if I'm a gold digger. Of course, of course you don't care. All you care is just to wake up and ask for money without even knowing if I have any means of getting this money. No, you need to listen. It's not been long I sent you two million naira of which I don't even know what you did with. And here you are asking me for money again. Okay, fine. I'll... No, I am not, I am not promising. I will try and look for a way to get you money. I don't even know what to do with all that money I sent, I always sent to you. 
of course, I'll find a way of getting the money. Of course, you know, it's not too long I sent you money. So when do you need this money? What? Next week? No, 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 that's too close. You know, I, I, I need to find an excuse to give to him before he can give me this money. But seriously, you, you should. Hello? Hello? This guy is mad. You're just too stupid, you're mad. Again. What is it? Can't you see him coming? He will come and start embarrassing me again. So that is why you want to go back? How long do you think you will keep running? Why can't you warn him once and for all? You will not understand. This man is a thorn on my flesh. Leave me my love. Baby, baby. What are you doing with this bed? Amechi, please. I don't have your time today. Hmm? Please. And I am not your love. Just leave me alone. Wait. Oh. Am I the one you just called a bed? What the Puara? I can see you're mad. See, stop the TV for me. from me. You have said that you will not marry. So stop. Allow her to marry. Don't deceive her. Right. her. Who wants to marry her? Hmm? Are you not seeing me? Take a good look at me. Me, of course. Are you not seeing an ambitious man and fine man like me? See, let me tell you. Very soon, me, I'll become the president of this country. And when that happened, <laughs> Mama, I will make her my first lady. And you, her maid, Mankota. I can't even believe we're even here listening to this man. Now, I met you or whatever you call yourself. Listen to me. This should be the first and last. You will stop my friend saying this kind of nonsense. Idiot. Go and get a life for yourself. I don't blame you. You are jealous of her. See, if you let me tell you, she's very, very jealous about our love. See, she's among those girls that are begging me to marry them. Don't allow her to deceive you. Hmm. What this girl asked me, you want to marry her? Don't worry. <laughs> Soon you will know. Okay, Beke. Okay, Beke. Don't worry. This one you came to visit me. I hope all is well. Uh, I will always come to visit you. Why won't I come and visit? Although you have decided you won't be visiting me, but you are my best friend. I'll be coming uh, to visit uh, you. Are you. Are you sitting there already? I see if you have confirmed I'm in the mood for a meeting. What, what does that mean? Don't you want me to sit down? Not exactly. It's just that, as you can see, I'm already dressed up. I want to go out before you walked in. Are you indirectly asking me to leave your house? Uh, no. That's not what I mean. You know, as the PRO of our meeting. So I thought, maybe you came with that information. So, but there's no problem. You can be, you make yourself comfortable. Let me... No, no, no. Um, it's nothing. Um... I just came to ask if what I've been hearing, whether it's true or just uh, a rumor. Hmm. What did you hear this time? It's about Okechuku and the princess. Hmm? E that's what's everywhere now. So I, I came to confirm if it's uh, just cha cha cha, you know, those talk, side talks that people do, or if it's true. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? You know what? I'm throwing that question back to you. 
-hmm. What do you think? That it happened or it didn't happen? Uh, that's why I came to... That's what I came to confirm from the horse's mouth now. Millicent, you keep making me think that joblessness is making you begin to behave like a child. So you want me to hear something in the village and not come and tell you? How? And why should it be always negative rumors that you keep hearing? It's not negative. It's a good thing. I just want to know if it's true. Well, to answer you specifically, I made a trip to the place. And what you heard was exactly what I said. Do you have a problem with that? Listen, I am the princess of this land. And I tell you something. A time will come when people who always think out of the box will decide to do things differently. And that's exactly what I've done. And I expect you to understand that. I am waiting for his feedback. And I know it won't be long before I get it. What if he declines? <laughs> Listen, I do not want to discuss that because I know definitely he is never going to decline. I am going to be in the palace throughout this week. If you have time, you can come around. Let's discuss in details. Okay? That's fine. A woman should be allowed to go for what she wants. Any law holding a woman down or preventing her from doing that which makes her happy must be totally thrown away. I have started it and I must finish it. What's wrong with you? Why are you looking all worked up? Is he not Cassie? Eh? What about him? The thing is, I don't know if you understand it. Tell me first now. I'm a big girl. I can process everything. But you must try and process this, not saying something else. Can you start talking already? What is it? I'm dragging my feet because you do not understand the language of love. And why will you say that? You have not fallen in love before. That is why I don't want to tell you. Better start talking or else I will leave you and go to where I'm going to. And don't insult me, please. Besides, I will still fall in love when the time comes. Can you start talking? I saw him hungry in my dream. And what does that mean? I saw Cassie in my dream, hungry and angry. <laughs> it's natural. A hungry man will naturally be angry. Is that why you're feeling so bad? No. He was very hungry. But then the anger came because he had nothing to eat. Now you're not even understanding the sarcasm. Are you sure you're okay? Are you okay? I told you to be reasonable on this. Why are you acting stupid? <laughs> you are the one who is being stupid here. You saw a man hungry in your dream and you brought it to reality so prove what point exactly wait how did you even know he was hungry did he open his mouth and told you he was hungry must he tell me yes must he tell me that he's hungry before i will know so wait you mean when you see a man who is hungry you won't know now i'm beginning to understand wait what exactly was he hungry for food the normal food that is being cooked in the kitchen or what? If anyone don't be stupid. 
Why are you reading an entirely different meaning into what I am saying? Neka, look at what you're doing to yourself. Because of a man who does not even know you exist. Stop doing this to yourself and accept Chuka's proposal. If hmm? anyone, I have told you countless times that I don't love Chuka. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Nika, see, I believe in this saying. The devil you know is better than the angel you are yet to unmask. Chuka, yeah, who has made his intention known to you, is the devil. And Cassie, who does not even know you exist, and may ultimately slap you if you, make his, if you make your intention known to him, is the angel you are yet to unmask. Try and reconcile this before you get yourself grounded. I love Cassie. If anyone, Cassie is the one I love. Uh, how could you even think of such thing? Don't you realize you are a princess? Daughter of Ezonye Konye Konye, the lion of Amanato Kingdom. How could you allow it spread in this kingdom that you went proposing to a man? I did that, father, because that's what I want. And who told you you must get what you want all the time? I told myself. Because I am the daughter of the lion himself. I wanted something. I made a move. Because I wanted it. And I believe that the lion himself shouldn't have a problem with that. You must change that your mindset, my dear daughter. That step you took is a useless one. And I'm going out of my way to change that blunder. It is not a blunder, father. You're the one making this whole thing up. Please, can you stop already? Why do you talk as if you don't know the tradition of this land? It is men that go proposing to women, not the other way around. Never has it been had any way that a woman went proposing to a man. Why must it start with my own daughter? It is starting with me because I am the daughter of the lion himself. And I am wired into starting something new. Always. Okay, let me ask you this. Did you bother to ask yourself what will people say? Cultures and traditions are never static, Father. They are meant to evolve with the ever-evolving things of the earth. For instance, Father, the kinds of things we eat now are never the kinds of food our forefathers ate. The kinds of building we live in now are totally different from the ones our forefathers lived in. For the things are changing. And you expect me to adapt and accept the changes while I stick to no changing customs and traditions? No, Father. I am not wired like that. I have started something new and I want you to support me because I'm not going back. I'm going to say this plainly. You are going to step down on this. I'm not just talking as your father, but as Ezonye Konye Konye, the lion of Amanato Kingdom. Father, you cannot maintain your stand on this. I know you are the beast, but I am the daughter of the beast. Father, please, do not let us set the world on fire. Why are you trying to push me to the wall? That's because I love him. I love this man, Father. Have I ever told you something like this before? Have you ever seen me with a man before? The answer is no. And I kept my cool all this while looking for the real man. Now I have found him. You should be happy that he is from this land. And I made my move. Because I'm not ready for any traditional protocol. Father, stick with me on this and there will not be problems. But if you don't support me on this, things will go wrong. Trust me, Father. The lion himself. You will not like it. Why is she doing unimaginable things? Okay, you know what? It's it's simple. 
You get the money you asked for on one condition. Babe, are you serious? You not give me a condition before you do something for me. I don't know. That's, that's not that serious. Now relax. Uh, what? Are you scared? Um, oh, no, I'm not. Just that she never said such a thing to me before. Oh, well, it's not a condition that can kill you. It's something that you can do, actually. Um, yeah. What is the condition? Are you ready? Say it. Okay. You would have to come with me to go see my mother. Oh no. Babe, not again. I thought we have... It's a very simple condition. You know, you just agree to it and the money is yours. I know you. You're doing this because you know I need this money. Why are you bringing your intimidating mother into this? I don't ever said that my mother is intimidating. Where did you get that from? Yeah? You know, you say these things just so you keep making excuses not to go see her. That's not fair. Always talking as though I'm not interested in the marriage. Look, I don't want to go into all of that. Okay? Do we have a deal or not? Honey, why are you pushing this? Let it go. No, I won't let it go because I don't understand why you're refusing to see my mother. She is going to be your mother-in-law very soon, so you have to get used to being around her all the time. Are you serious? I am serious. Can you say with all sense of certainty that this is a deal? I, I, I cannot. Because you have clearly refused to accept my proposal. I don't know why. Tell me. Okay. I will, I promise you, just give me time, all right? But meanwhile, you will give me the money after we've gone to see your mother. Deal? She will give me the money, right? Yes, deal. <laughs> but, 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 just so you know, I am not happy that I had to go this far just to get you to come see my mother. I know I may not be able to explain this, but I am doing this just for us, for you. Because I love you. Honey. Yeah. Your mother is not as intimidating as being reported. I don't know where you all get this funny idea about my mother. She's nice, she's sweet. Who's been feeding you with lies? Huh? Listen, when you get to know my mother, you will find out that she's the best mother in law you can possibly have. Huh? Okay, so... So what? years of waiting for Okechuku to get married. Why will he finally settle for a woman looking morally debased? Ah. I have to start immediately to take my stand. If I do nothing, Okechuku will start thinking I am in support of all this. Is this who my son has been planning to present to me as his wife-to-be? She doesn't even look like a wife material. 
Look at what she's even wearing. Was my son blind when he went for this one? Ah, oh, the kissing can wait. Oh. Both of you are not married yet. Um, okay, Chiku, please, I need to show you something. Oh, all right, sweet. I'll be back soon. Okay? Okay. Right. Don't worry, my dear. You will soon be back. Hmm? Just a minute. Okay. No, you always feel up in anger whenever I tell you that I do not like your company, but that's just the truth. I don't like your company. You don't like my company because I tell you the truth always. I tell you the truth, that's why you don't like my company. I don't know why people don't like the truth. But you know what? I will continue to come here to tell you the truth because Nezo Kobondo. Stop deceiving yourself, Asata. You do not know anything about the truth. You're just trying to make me hate my job and that I do not like. Hate your job. What do you call a job? You know, here and I cook bo 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 in the neighborhood. That's what you call a job. Hi. Oh, Cassie. Have you asked yourself? Have you sat down, check and balance? In a week, in a month, even in a year, and ask yourself, how long will you continue like this and be able to have money to buy a tokumboka? Mbaka have you could have red bell job. Nigerian used. But let's not to go far. When will you make the money to be able to buy a bicycle? 17.5. We all know that you have mouth. So you can say anything that you want to say with your mouth. But I'm not going to spice issues with you. I need you to know that there's dignity in level. I love my job. I love that which I'm doing. I'm going to remain in it and also get a living through it. There is dignity in level. Dignity in level. Oh, my word, they fool my Range Rover. Dignity in level. Dignity in level. Oh, you're not going to go. Oh, you're going to go. Cassie. Come on, be going. I'm going to leave my show. Use your sense and not your muscle. Use your sense and not your muscle. Oh, you're going to go. You know that when I speak now, all of you will begin to say that I am being harsh on this man. But the truth of the matter is that we elected an insensitive man into the office of the governor of the state. When we knew it from the very beginning that the man we are talking about is not qualified for the position. I am actually thinking that the best way forward to solve this problem is to motivate the members of the House of Assembly and get him impeached. Chief Izunaso, I understand your point. But you know I am a king and cannot rush into conclusion without first hearing from the horse's mouth. Yeah. At least let him tell us his reason for not fulfilling the promise he made to his people during his campaign. Well, uh, I'm trying to hear from the horse's mouth. He's actually giving the man the respect that he does not deserve. Who is he in the first place? Listen, Onyeze, I respect you so much. You are one man I hold in high esteem, and the reason is because you are gifted of the gods with wisdom. If what you are saying is how you feel about it, I don't have any problem than to allow you to handle it as king. But I, am, I must have to tell you that I, I still don't know how that man maneuvered his way into that office in the first place. Well, you know what money can do to the psyche of most people. He gave them money and they voted for him. We may not like him, but that's the man we have as the governor. It's already a bad situation. But we have to find a way to make something out of that bad situation. Yeah. Oh, yes, uh, well, you are the king and if this is how you feel about it, I have no other option than to put them a weapon. Chief Izunaso. The one man riot squad. Yes, onye, konye, konye. I know I will always count on you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that confidence, Onye. Uh, now, can we stop uh, disturbing ourselves about this uh, useless man occupying position that is not qualified to occupy? Can we concentrate on the main thing we wanted to discuss today? That is our manato new layout that we are planning. Uh, how do we go about it? 
it all boils down to the same thing. The Amanato new layout will take hundreds of millions of Naira to execute. That's why I want to bring in the state government to help us. And that's the reason I want to use diplomacy on the governor to see how he can help us. Yes, onye, onye, onye. You are indeed a king. And you are a grade one politician. <laughs> the pride of Amanato. The governor may be a fool, but we can play on his foolishness and get what we want. <laughs> yes, onye, onye, onye. You know, this is the reason they say two heads are better than one. Alright, so please, you can't go in and see him now. Because he's who? Do you even know the man you're, 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 you're trying to stop? Do you know? Do you know? So you don't have any appointment with him? What is this? Listen, I am here to see the governor. You are his senior special assistant on special duties. I am a special man who is here for a special business with the governor. So I want you to fix the meeting immediately. There are some governors that you can see like this. Not my governor. Uh, by saying not your governor, are you trying to say that I'm not going to see the governor? What I am saying is that I do not know how you found your way here. Obviously, sir, do not do this again. This is a government house. We have rules here. We abide by strict rules. Don't do this again. Please show him out. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to leave. But I want you to know that I'm coming back. And I am coming back specifically for you. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. 